Brazil's one flyweight champion, Adriano Moraes, was a superhero, then his arch nemesis is Kazakhstan's Kairat Akhmatov, the former champ who has already taken the title from him once, and he's coming for it again. But there's a new hero in town who has stepped up to stop Akhmatov, and that's the Filipino underdog, Jehe Eustaquio. Make no mistake, Akhmatov is a beast. He won his first 20 fights straight with 15 stoppages, 14 in the first round. Before that, he was an Asian Greco-Roman champ and the three-time Kazakhstan wrestling champ. His perfect 20-0 record earned him a title shot against the current champ Marais in Akhmatov's first fight with Juan. After five rounds, it was his Greco-Roman stylings that beat Marais's BJJ black belt by split decision. He had the title, and he didn't defend for almost two years. With Akhmatov out due to a serious back injury, Marais submitted his way to the interim title and a shot at the now recovered Akhmatov. And again, the two champs battled it out for five rounds. The Kazakh could still hit hard, but he'd spent too long away and lost the belt by unanimous decision to the now two-time champ, Marais. Akhmatov plotted his revenge and needed a quick win to get back into contention. And the man he set his sights on was Eustaquio. The Filipino Wushu champion has been with one since 2013, and he's now amassed the fourth most wins in the promotion's history but the man they call Gravity is up and down. While he's put on some highlight reel wins and beaten some of the best in the promotion, including the strawweight champ Alex Silva, he's also come up short just when you think he's on a roll, which is exactly what happened when he faced Marais. So when Eustaquio fought Akhmatov, the Kazakh was expected to steamroll him, and he did, until the Filipino landed two brutal upkicks that stopped the fight. Or at least they should have. Despite the kicks being legal, Akhmatov received an injury timeout before being allowed to continue. For the crowd, this made him the villain. And to make it worse, he dominated the second round as was expected. But the hero wasn't done. Eustaquio turned it around in the third with some wrestling of his own, but it wasn't enough. He should have won the title in the first round, but Akhmatov was awarded the split decision and what he thought was another shot at Marais. But with Marais unable to compete, Eustaquio has been granted a shot at revenge and a chance to replace Akhmatov in the championship fight. Better yet, Akhmatov versus Eustaquio is for the interim title, and you can watch Global Superheroes live at 1FC.com this January 26th. Still to come, 